Hi Green Thumbs, welcome back to the channel. It is about 11 o'clock at night on Friday night. I just got home probably about two hours ago. I went around, kind of did my daily maintenance, was walking around, checking the plants, giving water to those that needed it. Um, I've been watching this Hoya Bella since I brought it home approximately two weeks ago. I'll link the video unboxing of that up above if you want to check that out after this video. Um, this plant has not done great since it's been here in the house and I poured it down and looked at it today and what I found, uh, let's see if I can find a spot here. I have white mold growing inside. When I unboxed it, the soil was kind of disheveled and a little bit all over the place. And I didn't think too much of it. I didn't think it was a big deal. There's some more of it you can see. Uh, so that's an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip it out of the soil, get it into some fresh soil, and see if we can save this plant before the mold completely takes over and the plant is ruined. Okay guys, so like I said, it's 11 o'clock at night. You guys aren't gonna see me in this video. Um, I'm tired, I worked all day. Those of you that don't know, I run a grocery store and we just finished up Thanksgiving week. So I'm pretty exhausted <laughs> and I just wanna kinda of go to bed. My makeup is half worn off my face. So today is not the day that you guys are gonna see my smiling face in the video. <laughs> um, anyways, supplies needed. One moldy Hoya Bella. My Hoya mix. I'll link that above here if you guys want to check out that recipe. I have one clean uh, hanging basket. I do want my Bella to hang. I like the way that it trails down, so I decided to go with another uh, hanging basket. If I didn't have this option, what I would do is pull the plant out of this and then I would probably wash it really well with vinegar and then wash it again really well with just really hot water just to make sure that I got rid of any residual vinegar. And because I'm using a hanging basket, I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I like to keep these hangers. I like these because they swivel. You can see on this one, it does not swivel. So you're stuck with either facing it one way or the other way. Uh, with the swivel, you can spin it whatever direction that you want so that your plant can grow evenly towards the sun. Also supplies needed are one glass of Cabernet. So you can see here at the bottom of this basket, it has some pretty big holes. What I am going to do is try to cover those holes with some orchid bark. Now the kind I use is better grow, so I get nice big chunky pieces. I'm just going to kind of lay those down there first, covering the holes. Try to help prevent my soil from washing away each time I water my plants. Typically I use a window screen for this part. But because it is a larger basket, I'm going to lay these down first so I don't have to use as much window screen. Okay, I've got the big holes filled. Let's get our poor moldy bra out of her yucky container. Like I said before, I don't like these hangers, so I'll just recycle this. Okay guys, here's what the roots look like. 
they are not in good shape. You can see all of them are suffering from root rot. Um, I don't know. I've only had it about two weeks. I think probably what is likely happening here when I ordered this, um, they were just rooted cuttings. Uh, they came in the mail mid-November. Uh, apparently I probably overwatered them, so they're suffering. We're going to go ahead and get it into my Hoya mix, which is a much drier, much more aerated mix. Guys, it didn't take me long to change my mind. Um, based on the looks of the roots and how young they are and how much they are suffering from root rot already, I've decided to downsize to a much smaller pot. So instead of the hanging basket, I believe this is probably a eight inch. It was in a six inch. We're gonna go all the way down to a four inch terracotta and give these roots the opportunity to dry out, reestablish themselves and grow within this four inch terracotta. Maybe come spring, if the plant stabilizes, we will repot her then. There she is potted up in her four inch pot fingers crossed if you have any experience with Hoya Bellas and you know a better method than what I'm currently doing please leave me a comment down below I would love to be able to save this plant <laughs> it's beautiful and it took me forever to decide to buy it and now that I own it obviously I don't want to let it die so thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon take care